So in 1962, the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee came into Roosevelt. That Monday night, I went over here, right around the corner here, to this church, William Chapel. And the pastor announced at the end of service that there would be a mass meeting that night, that Monday night. My husband drove me from out in the rural area where I had been working to the church. And when we got there, Bob Moses, Lance Guillot, Reggie Robinson, James Bevel, Jim Foreman from SNCC got up and explained how it was our constitutional right to register and vote and how it could change, you know, the different laws. Like if we didn't want a law in the town or what was going on, we could vote them out. So that, I thought it was the most uh, remarkable thing that could happen in the state of Mississippi. I'd never heard until 1962 that uh, black people could register and vote. I'd never even heard that that was in the Constitution. Well, we go in and live with people, live in their homes, try to get them to the point where they lose some of their fears. We have to cut across generation of fear. I went to a SNCC conference in Nashville, Tennessee in November 1962. And the first time I had a chance to just sit next to a white person, I've never been that nervous in my life. SNCC is the type of people, they call them far left, radicals, beatniks, and all of this kind of thing. But they still is willing to go into areas. They work with the people that's poor. They work with the people that never had a chance to be treated as a human being. And if it's necessary, some have already done that, has given their lives for the cause of human justice. We would go to places to go in to do voter registration and we'd talk to people and we would tell them we was coming back the next day and by the next day somebody would be done got to them and they wouldn't want to talk with us. We would be harassed and we know cars would be passed in the house loaded with white men and trucks would be passed in there with guns hanging up in the back. Well, it was, it was rough. Year after year, things looked like got worse and worse. The Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee helped to build confidence in people that they was just about to lose all hopes. And that's the truth. <laughs>